National Bookmobile Day. Casey Cliff Notes Lun is channeling his <laughs> inner bookworm today. Casey Lun in Chinatown. Good morning to you. And and the little Honu said <laughs> mahalo. <laughs> oh, excuse oh. me. Good job. Well done, I just, well done uh, Casey. Finished Casey. Up my big read. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first. Jill, that's the first book I've read in a long time, and that's a shame. <laughs> Actually, uh, the, this book, written by Fred Okmura, uh, illustrated by Jamie Michael Tableson. We interviewed her once before. She helps out with some uh, art projects and, and uh, things like that. I, I do this as a tad little fun, but, but Jill is with me, Takasaki Canfield, the executive director of Hawaii Liter or Literacy Hawaii? Hawaii Literacy. Literacy. Correct. Yes. See, I need... <laughs> Uh, how important is it for us to make sure that these local stories, that these local authors, that these local illustrators um, are put in front of especially young people and that yes. those young people have access to yes. local stories? Yeah, so two really important things. It's about making sure that people have access to books. So we work in communities where there might be barriers to um, getting to a library or be able to access books and out of school time support. But also it's really important for children or even adults yeah. to see themselves in the books that they read. So we make sure that as much as we can, we have books that reflect the communities yeah. in which we um, serve. And, and speaking of serving those communities, I want to talk a little bit about access and, and the importance, not just to these local stories, mm -hmm. but, but really to literature. And also, as we heard from your director of um, digital learning, mm -hmm. uh, digital li literature, uh, how important is it to make sure that people have the access to those mm -hmm. things? Um, in terms of digital literacy, I mean, we all saw how during the pandemic, I mean, there was a divide before, and it's, I think in some ways got even bigger because so many more resources are available online, but if you don't have a device, if you don't have reliable access, and really if you don't have the skills or knowledge of knowing how to use um, computers or laptops, um, it, it, the divide is even that much greater. Yeah, so. and uh, you know, I, I know that you guys have really worked hard to develop the, the Bookmobile program mm -hmm. as we celebrate yes. National Bookmobile yes. Day. Um, some big accomplishments that were out in Y and I. We just saw them on the screen. Uh, the number of books handed out, I think, sixteen thousand mm -hmm. are lent to those young people and, and, and just adults as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's got to feel good. I want to ask you too yes. about just the logistics of getting these bookmobiles yeah. all over Oahu, and you, you also have one on the Big Island. Yes. Do you need people to step into roles? Do you have opportunities yes. like that? Um, so we actually do have an opening right now for a town bookmobile coordinator and driver and we always need volunteers. I uh, just want to do a shout out. I mean we can't, not just the bookmobile program, but really all that we do. We have volunteers that show up and we can't do it without them. I appreciate your time this morning, Jill. Thank you so much. And uh, a reminder, they also could use donations. You can do yes. all that and learn more about opportunities at our website at hawaiinewsnow.com. Okay, Lace, you should know by now, I'm going to ask you your favorite book. Well, I think I speak for myself when I say Harry Potter was my favorite oh. book. Oh, right? over <laughs> Steve. And somebody else. Way over Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Great job out there, Casey. Let's take a look at a traffic nice. alert.